Skyburner's Oath. This is a cabal slug rifle that turns you into a giant slug. A slimy, dirty slug in PvP and PvE. It doesn't actually do that, but it's a scout rifle that's pretty damn interesting. It shoots full auto, does extra damage to the cabal, which is great, and you can also shoot through a phalanx shield, which is great because those pussies keep hiding behind those shields, and this way, you can just kill them. You don't have to worry about the shield, you just start shooting. Slug rifle means that when you're aiming down sights, you're actually going to have even more damage coming out of this weapon, and, uh, I mean, it's a scout rifle. If you ain't aiming down sights, you ain't hitting heads, and if you ain't hitting heads, you ain't getting any pussy! If you're trying to hip fire this thing, you th you're jumping around the map like an idiot, well, then it sucks. This is a terrible weapon. But if you're aiming down sights, taking advantage of those slug rifles, all right, you're, you're slipping around the map like a slug, shooting cabal, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, this scout rifle felt pretty damn good. Now, if there is a bunch of cabal, it feels a little bit better. And if there's a bunch of cabal sitting around, hiding behind a phalanx shield like a bunch of pussies, oh, it feels even better. And then you throw in a solar burn, oh, oh, yeah! This thing starts to feel pretty good. I'm telling you, I am a big fan of the Skyburner's Oath. I didn't think it was gonna be that great, but there's a couple little phalanxes that, that this, they just, they think they're tough. They think they can run around with their shield and piss me off. Well, not anymore. And that's honestly why I like it so much. I don't know if it's actually that great of a scout rifle. I haven't tested all the optimal DPS. I don't know what the best scout rifle is for every situation, but this one's got a good magazine size. It seems like it does some pretty good damage, and the fact that those pussies can't hide behind their shield anymore, it feels pretty sexy. As for PvP, is it a good scout rifle? I mean, it's a, it's a scout rifle. It's gonna kill people at a distance in the intended range if you're landing your shots. It might be fractionally faster than some, might be fractionally faster than others, but overall, I wouldn't call this thing amazing by any means. I think that there were some situations where I was out-dueling opponents, but I also think that's because I'm one of the best in the world! <laughs> And maybe my strafe game was on point. Maybe I was landing my crits. I don't know the reason. I was killing more people than I was dying to. But at the same time, I think a lot of the plays that I was making with this thing, I could have just done with a Mida multi-tool, had my radar up, had high caliber rounds on it, and I don't think this thing is god tier by any means. You can see here, it works, it kills people, but I'm not sold on it as being a top tier, god tier, exotic scout rifle. Especially when it's competing with something like the Mida Multi-Tool that shoots, I'm pretty sure, at the exact same rate. And I think it actually does, like, one or two more damage. Doesn't, doesn't Mida do 54? I'm not gonna do the math on it! That's not my job! My job is to make a fool of myself on these exotic reviews so people come in and chat and they say, Ah, oh, M-Test, actually, uh, the optimal DPS and the slide this and that. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. I, uh, actually just threw my headset off my head. I was convulsing so rapidly there. I think this is a good exotic. I think it's better in PvP. I uh, sort the fuck. I already ruined the video. It's better in PvE than PvP. Um, by quite a large margin, in my opinion. I think it has a lot more value in PvE. I would give it like a 7 or 8 out of 10. You know, especially against Cabal. In other situations, it, it, who gives a shit? If you're doing like a Nightfall with some Cabal in there, this thing can be pretty good. It can get you out of some sticky situations. Um, overall in PvP, it's like a, it's like a 4 or 5. I'm gonna actually, you know what I'm gonna say? It's right in the middle. It's a five. Because there were situations where I actually felt like I was uh, maybe winning fights because of the extra bit of damage um, or the aim assist or, or whatever it might be. It did feel like I was winning more gunfights than I lost. So I'm gonna say this is like a five or six in PvP, actually. I liked it quite a bit. Up close, I mean, most scout, scout rifles kind of suck. I haven't played this game in the last few days, so I'm a little rusty. But overall, I'm a big fan. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to see some other exotic reviews from me, check out the video on the left, and if you want to laugh your ass off at my stupidity, check out the one on the right. That's it for me, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.